Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Iris for those of you who don't know me and today will be a very fun video for me to do. Um, this is a very fun subject and um, it just brings back some nostalgia for me and yeah I just really enjoy talking about this subject and hopefully it also will be helpful for you and that you also will get very excited about this subject because I sure as hell am. And yeah, just let's get started on it. Because the subject of today's video will be about Miami and studying abroad in Miami. And I did this with EF and I really enjoyed it and it was really the time of my life. But firstly, I just want to go into some um, information about the course I did, some um, basic information about what I did there. So um, what I did in EF, I um, did an intensive English course to improve my English and just to have a good time of course. Um, and I did this for eight weeks and I started on 6 March of 2017. So that's already two years ago and oh, it's just so sad. I just, I mean, I just want to go back. And when I see pictures and videos of it, I'm just like, oh, my god, I had such a good time, but I will go into that later. Um, but yeah, I had an intensive course, it lasted for eight weeks, and I started in March. And what I have to tell you, I was 17 at the time, so I didn't hit the big 18 yet. And that can come with some consequences, because when you're 17 and you're studying with EF abroad, um, then you will also have a curfew and you have some rules you have to follow up. And yeah, for me it wasn't a big deal, the curfew, but there were like people um, who really wanted to go out. But I also did go out one time and I have to say it can be arranged if you have like the right people around you, if you know what I mean. And um, But yeah, it's not allowed. And that can be tough sometimes because you every night you have to sign your name that you are inside EF. And when you have signed your name, you can't go out to school anymore. So you will just really have to stay in EF till the next morning. But besides that, I really enjoyed my time there. And I think it's not like when you're 17, you can't go because I perfectly enjoyed myself. And I would do it over and over and over again. So yeah, that's something I wouldn't worry about if you're like 16 or 17 because there are also loads of students there who are 16 and 17. And of course there are some of them who are 20 and 21, 22. But yeah, you will just, you will get divided in one class and it's all mixed together and everyone will accept everyone. At least that's how it went in my case but yeah every everyone who is at EF is just there for an awesome time so I wouldn't worry about that too much and I also want to talk about like the housing there because I stayed at the EF school itself um, because Miami has like its school with dorms in it and you can just uh, reserve a dorm um, and then you uh, have like three other roommates and yeah that's just how you have to roll there for two months but I really enjoyed myself in my room I had like very nice roommates in particularly one Jessica I really miss her so if you're watching this I really miss you um, but yeah the F staff uh, make sure that you are like in a room with people from around your age so that's also a great thing, not like when you're 17 you will get on a room with someone who's 25. Um, so all the girls on my room were like 17, 18 and 19. So that was very like cozy and we had a fun time. Um, they just have two bunk beds there and yeah, when you're like new and there are already two girls in, you have to sleep upstairs. But I slept upstairs for like two, three weeks and it was perfectly fine and then one roommate um, she left, she went home and, and then I just moved from the upper bed to the lower bed and that was also perfectly fine and what I liked about that is that I could build like my own fort and I could like make towels around me so that I had a little bit of privacy um, and I really didn't like the sunlight in the morning when <laughs> because the sunlight was very bright and there were like very good curtains so that's what i did and yeah it's perfectly fine you can watch movies in there and yeah 
the beds are perfectly fine, the food is... The food was a little bit disappointing, um, in the beginning it was fine, but, but when you have to eat it for like two months, it gets a little bit boring and a little bit tasteless. But yeah, it's fine. It's just nice that you have like, that you can eat breakfast and uh, dinner there, and you just really have to arrange your lunch yourself. But we always went to Starbucks or Rosetta's Bakery, it's also a great place in Miami, I really recommend that. And yeah, that's really just what we did. And yeah, we made a living for ourselves there and it just was really great. And yeah. So I also wanna go into the trips I made while I was in Miami, because it wasn't only studying and laying on the beach. That's also a great part, by the way, when you're studying in Miami, um, the F school is like 30 seconds away from the beach. So you can literally just walk from the school to the beach. You can lay your towel there and you can just study on the beach and lay there all day and get a tan and, oh, it was just so awesome and that's what I miss the most about Miami and about EF in Miami because it was such a great location and um, you could also walk to Lincoln Road, it's a very large road there with a, there's a very large shopping area there and uh, yeah it's just also great. But let's go into the trips. I also went on very many trips, um, for example uh, the first Monday when I was there, we went on a Miami tour and we went to the Windwood Walls and I think when you're in Miami you really have to go to the Windwood Walls and we perfectly enjoyed ourselves there and we also went to a big mall in downtown Miami and it was just so, so fun and it was like $40 or something to um, be on that tour and you will just explore Miami and it's perfect to do this at the beginning of your trip um, because then you know what Miami has to offer and yeah it's just nice to know in which city you're like staying for two months so yeah that was a great thing to do we also uh, went to the Everglades it's like a crocodile park uh, with alligators and crocodiles and yeah it was also very fun I I have to say I think it was a little bit there was also like a show with alligators or something and I really didn't I really didn't like how they treated like the alligators and the crocodiles and from my opinion that was really like too much for show for tourists and um, it wasn't really in behalf of um, taking care of the crocodiles and the alligators because in my opinion it was a little bit too harsh and too rough and yeah I really didn't like that but it is nice to just to go on the boat there and just to go over the Everglades and see a few alligators. Don't go on a cloudy day when there are lots of clouds in the sky because then the alligators would just won't show and when we went we saw only one alligator so that was kind of disappointing but yeah we went there it was a great day and yeah perfectly fine also we also we went one weekend to Universal Studios and Disney World and this was just so awesome and we went firstly we went to Disney World and then we slept in a hotel didn't really go as planned because um, the chauffeur who had to drive us to the hotel didn't want to wait for us um, he had to wait for us because the motor wheel uh, at Disney World just broke down it had like a technical issue I don't know what was going on but it just went down and we couldn't take the motor rail to the parking area and we called each he, he said he wouldn't wait for us so we were like much stress and we didn't know what to do uh, but I called like three times and I was very angry like you really have to wait for us we paid so much money for this and um, at the end he, he waited for us so that was like that was okay and then we went to the hotel and at the hotel that was also a big issue because they couldn't find our name at the reservation so we also had a lot of stress there and we were like exhausted from the day so me and a girlfriend of mine we just started crying and we were just like oh my god why why does everything go wrong and but eventually it was all fine but the hotel was a little bit mm. I wouldn't recommend a hotel, I, I really don't know which hotel we stay in, I really wouldn't know uh, because it was arranged by um, a group that has contacts with EF but yeah, that, that hotel was just a little bit disgusting if I may say so 
Um, but yeah, we just had to stay there for one night and then had breakfast there and then the next day we went to Universal Studios and oh my god, Universal Studios was so amazing and I would recommend Universal Studios over Disney World. Uh, we only went to one park in Disney World and went to uh, United Kingdom. I really wouldn't recommend the United Kingdom because I think the United Kingdom is the most fun when you have like kids. Um, but I think other parks are more fun at Disney World, so I would recommend to go to another park where there are some more thrilling attractions. But Universal Studios was so much fun and they have Harry Potter World there and yeah, it was just so great and I would really recommend to go to Universal Studios because I think that was like the best day um, on my trip in Miami and yeah I'm of course talking about the parks in Orlando because it's Disney World in Orlando and Universal Studios in Orlando so just so you know just a little side note so that was like Disney World and Universal Studios my little story about that we also it was just a day trip but it was also just such an amazing day but we went to the Bahamas and um, you have to get up really early in the morning I think we had to get up at like 4:30 a.m. or something or maybe 5 a.m. and that was that was killing <laughs> I have to admit that was killing but then you then you get like a taxi to the harbor and then at the harbor you get like a boat to the Bahamas but you also have to bring your passport and everything because the Bahamas is a different country and also the drinking age in Bahamas is 18 and not 21 so that's also a good thing to know but yeah we went to Bahamas and it was like a four to five hour boat trip and, then, uh, and we arrived there and uh, there was just an old school bus waiting for us with, in all different colors and all the windows were out and they were playing reggae music and when you just got there you got immediately this chill vibe and uh, I think the Bahamas are just so amazing and when you're with your friends you're just really having the best time and we had a day trip so we went to a all-inclusive hotel and we could use everything they provided there so we had some food there and a nice swim and we laid at the beach and it was just such a perfect day and the Bahamas are so perfect and we also had our own snorkels so we went snorkeling and oh, it was just so amazing and unlimited cocktails is always a good idea but yeah it was just such an amazing day and I really recommend going to the Bahamas I wish I would have stayed there longer, like a weekend trip, but that was far more expensive than just a day trip because it was such an expensive hotel. But yeah, I would really recommend going there and just having a fun time with your friends. It's just such a perfect day when you go there. Last but not least, we also went to Key West and Key West is such an awesome place. When you come there, it's, uh, it's just like you're walking into a fairy tale. And yeah, it's, it's a fun trip. I would really recommend going to Key West. The only sad part is that when I got to Key West, I brought my large com camera and then I got to the conclusion that I forgot my SD card at uh, the EF school. So I really couldn't take pictures and at the time I had an iPhone 5, so the pictures I have are very bad. <laughs> and yeah. Luckily my friends also went and I could like steal a couple of pictures from her. Of course I ask, asked her if I could use some pictures from her and, and of course she, she let me. So yeah, uh, so that's the only sad part. I really don't have my own pictures from Key West or any videos or whatever. Um, but it's, it's a fun trip. But I really recommend before you go there just find out what there is to do in Key West because we didn't have a program or anything. We just went walking and we went on a little train and we really didn't know what to do there because we didn't have the information beforehand. And I think it can be handy to have that information beforehand because when you come there you just really don't know what to do. And we had a fun day but I think it could have been more fun when we prepared ourselves before we went to Key West. And yeah, I just think that's very handy to know. And yeah, some weekends we went into like, we went to downtown Miami and we went to a shopping mall there. And I also went to a concert of the Chainsmokers there and it was so much fun. And I would also really recommend to just, just to go to a concert when you're there. 
And some of the people I knew there also went to Cuba because Cuba is also very close to Miami and it's also like a four to five hour boat trip if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, I, I, I didn't... For me it was really like to choose between Bahamas and Cuba and then I really just went for Bahamas and I'm also very glad with that choice. But if I like stayed longer for like 10 months or even longer than that, I would have gone to Cuba as well because that's also just a very nice trip. And yeah, that's what I wanted to say about the trips to Miami and um, EF really provides you with good information so you don't have to look into information before you go because when you get there you get like all kinds of brochures with what you can do in the weekends and they have staff for activities so you can arrange that with those people and they will arrange like some trips for you and it's just very handy and easy and convenient and yeah that's just how it works uh, in EF Miami two years ago when I went there I'm not sure if they changed it but I don't think they changed it and um, that's what I wanted to say about trips so all in all I really had the best experience at EF in Miami and Miami is such an great city to go to and there's so much fun stuff to do and the weather is good but I would recommend to go like around March because the weather is perfect around March April because in the summer it's way too hot and the humidity is way too high so I would really recommend to go in like just before spring if you know what I mean so yeah I just had such a great time there and I would recommend it to everyone and I'm not lying if I say it was like the best experience in my life so far and I would really do it over and when I miss and uh, when I see pictures and videos I'm just so I just miss it so much and um, yeah it just reminds me of like such a great time and yeah also just a side note um, I did this in my gap year so when I finished high school I took a year off so that's a gap year and I worked a lot I had two jobs at the time and together this was like a full-time job and I saved a lot of money and then I went to Miami in March and that's also how I financed this course because it is expensive and and also airplane tickets are very expensive from Holland to uh, America and you also have to arrange a visa and everything that comes around with it is all so expensive so yeah I just made sure that I saved enough money and then that I could go but I also have to say that my parents also gave me a little money for it uh, because they thought it would be such a great experience for me and I also really have to say that my personality really grow from this experience because yeah you just go there on your own when you're 17 years old and you don't know anyone there and you just when you get when you get there you just have to make your own friends and you have to arrange everything yourself and your parents aren't there to help you out because they're in Holland and they're like there's a time difference and all that kind of stuff so yeah I really have to say that I grew from it as a person and my English also improved from it so uh, all in all it was like the best experience in my life and um, I would recommend it to everyone so that was this video for this week Hopefully you liked it and if you have any more questions about this subject Please let me know in the comments and I will get back to you because I could understand if you have some uh, Questions left because it's such a large subject and I'm not sure if I got into it all um, But yeah, if you're doubting to go with EF to like a certain destination I really recommend to go to Miami. I'm not sure how the schools are in in like other destinations, other countries. I'm not sure how to call it, but I would recommend to go with EF to Miami. And yeah, that was just my opinion and hopefully it was helpful for you and hopefully I gave you like enough information about this subject. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Also, when you're not subscribing yet to my channel, please make sure to do so. And when you're subscribing to my channel, also make sure like to hit the notifications box so that you get an update on when I post a new video. And I will post a new video every Wednesday evening European time. And yeah, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.